Hi everybody, it's Laura Jo again, and I chose a very colorful story for you today, and I think you're really going to like it. And it's called Home Sweet Home, and the author is Caroline Pitcher, illustrated by Jenny Arthur. It's called Home Sweet Home. Under the hedge was a big green bucket with holes in the sides and water in the bottom. In the bucket lived a frog. One sunny day, frog was keeping nice and cool and damp in his shady bucket. Then suddenly the bucket moved. Frog saw a large hand holding the handle and a big voice boomed. This old thing will have to go. And so will I, croaked frog, and off he hopped to find a new home. It was a bad day to look for a new home. The sun was shining and Frog felt hot. He leaped into the rainwater barrel, but it was empty. Ow! He hopped toward a flower pot, but someone already lived there. No frogs allowed in here, squeaked Mouse. You're too damp. Very colorful pictures, huh? Frog hopped under a pile of leaves, but someone already lived there, too. No croakers in my house, grumbled Turtle. You'll keep me awake. Frog saw a cool, damp hole under a tree and looked in. A little face with bright eyes, a pink nose, and long whiskers popped out. No room in here, said Rabbit, wiggling her nose. There are ten of us already. hopped over to a drain pipe. Someone with eight long legs climbed down to look at him. You can't come in here, said Spider. You'll make a mess of my lovely web. Frog hopped away gloomily. Nobody seemed to want him. Perhaps I'll find a home here, he said, as he jumped up a step, hopped through a doorway and into a kitchen. Plop! He dove into the soapy water, but he did not like the bubbles. Frog gazed into the washing machine. His eyes popped as he watched the water whiz around and around. I don't want to be that clean, said Frog. Splash! He hopped into the water jug, but he did not like the ice cubes. Brr! Way too cold. It's got to be just right. Frog hopped upstairs and into the bathroom. Ooh, lots of places here, he croaked. He leaped into the sink, but there was no water in it. Then Frog heard running water. He looked around and saw water pouring into an enormous bathtub. In he hopped. Ouch! Too hot for me, he croaked. Oh, frogs don't like hot water. Frog hopped downstairs and out of the house. The sun was even hotter. Poor Frog's skin felt dry. He scrambled down the hot path toward the shed. He'd never been so far before. Oh, for a cool new home, he cried. He hopped into the shed for some shade, and there, in a corner, was a beautiful bucket with some water in the bottom. It's just like my old one. Home sweet home, croaked Frog as he jumped in with relief. The water felt lovely and cool on his skin. Frog was so tired from all his hopping and searching that he fell fast asleep. But he soon woke up when the bucket began to shake. Oh no, not again. I don't want to go anywhere, he croaked. I've only just moved in. Frog slurped from side to side as the bucket swung through the air. Then it stopped. He scrambled up to the edge and peeped over. What very big boots, he croaked. Look at those boots.
frog and the water hurled out of the bucket. It must be a dream. I'm a flying frog. He croaked as he flew through the air. Down, down, down. Splash, glurp, ribbit into some lovely, cool water. He thought it was a dream because he was flying. Frog swam to a large lily pad, pulled himself up, and sat there gazing around in wonder. I can't believe my luck, he said. This is the most beautiful home I have ever seen. And that's the end. Home sweet home. And I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. And until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.